Hello friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Michelle Fondin and I'm the author of the new book, Twin Flame Romance, The Journey to Unconditional Love, available now in paperback, Kindle, and probably today or tomorrow in Audible audiobooks. So thank you so much for joining me. If you are reading Twin Flame Romance in Kindle or paperback right now, or you've already read the book, please post a review on Amazon and when the review is up, take a screenshot, email it to me at michellefondanauthor at gmail.com and I will send you a free copy of the Audible book for Chakra Healing for Vibrant Energy, which is great, very much linked and tied to the self-healing that we need to start to do in the Twin Flame Collective. Now, if you want to book a reading with me today, please email me, I mean, today for tomorrow, <laughs> but if you want to book a reading with me, email me at michellefondanauthor at gmail.com. Today, October 17th, for some reason, GoDaddy, the hosting is having issues and the website is not up. So I'm not really sure why, but if you're watching it after this date, hopefully the website will be up and running again. The hosting, I don't know, something crazy is going on. But I do, again, 30, 60, and 90 minute readings, and I don't only do twin flame readings. If you're interested in just a relationship reading overall, or getting on your life path and purpose, or reading on your health, or just a general overview of what your angels and guides would like you to know, I do those readings too, so just let me know. And again, email me. The pricing structure is a little bit different for a general reading than it is for the Twin Flame reading, so email me about that as well. So welcome back. Today we are talking about Divine Feminine, Going with the Flow, and Stop Chasing Your Divine Masculine. Now this came to me just because of the general energy of this week. And of course, I'm always going with the energy of the week. My angels and guides are continually giving me messages. Interestingly enough, I don't know why this is happening, but interestingly enough, it's generally about 5 a.m. or 4 a.m. that the idea pops into my head that I have to do a video about a certain topic. And it's really bizarre because it's only happened in the past week or two where it's come up that early in the morning. Whether I'm getting up, usually I'm not getting up by five, but or if I just have to use the restroom, if I just have to like get, a, get up and go pee, then the topic for the video that day is actually popping into my head that day. So the reason is, here you go, guys. During my Twin Flame Q&A, which is Tuesday nights at 6 p.m. Pacific, 9 p.m. Eastern in the United States, of course, there was a lot of blame going around. There was a lot of desperation going around when it comes to the Twin Divine Masculine. And I feel that the angels and guides and just the general energy that needs to happen and that hasn't been happening this week especially, but kind of all along, is the fact that the separation is taking a toll. And most of you who are coming to these videos are coming to these videos because you are in separation with your twin flame or there is some major rift and issue that is preventing you from being together permanently in the 3D. So therefore, I mean, if you were in union, you probably wouldn't be watching my videos, maybe other videos, but probably not these ones. So for the majority of the collective that watches these videos, you are in separation with your twin flame or from your twin flame. And that is the reason why you're watching these. And the mounting frustration that's starting to happen right now it's been building up. Honestly, you guys, I've been noticing that it's been building this pressure, this, this frustration, especially with the divine feminine. And it's almost like the divine feminines are like, okay, I did my work. I'm doing my spiritual homework. I'm doing all the work that I need to do on myself. I'm learning how to love myself. I'm taking care of all the problems and issues in my life that need to be taken care of. I'm getting rid of the people that need to go that are creating too much drama or toxicity in my life. And so the divine feminine is kind of sitting there going like, okay, I've done my work. Um, hello universe. Where's my divine masculine? And the divine masculine is not rushing into your side. And therefore there's this mounting sense of frustration. 
So the message that came through today is just for you guys to go with the flow. Now this is myself included. Of course, I am not excluded in this collectivity. I am a divine feminine. My twin flame is a divine masculine and we are currently in separation. So this message is for me just as much as it is for you guys. So it's, it's about going with the flow. You know, you might be wondering, what in the world does that mean? What does that mean to go with the flow? I thought I was going with the flow. And going with the flow is more about going with the natural rhythms of the universe and taking the gifts and the everything really that the universe is offering to you at this particular time. It's more about living in the present moment. It's more about surrendering to the divine and the divine plan. It's about enjoying the present moment and not second guessing that you and your twin aren't where you're meant to be, if that is making sense to you. So when we are not going with the flow, we're trying to control things. We're trying to control outcomes. We're trying to control other people. And when you could try to control other people, that's not going with the flow of the universe. So what happens when we start to try to control other people is that it pushes them away from us. Now, you might be saying to me, well, Michelle, you know what? That is not true with my twin. It's not true because we haven't been talking and I stopped texting him and I'm not calling him and I'm not visiting him and I'm not stalking his social media or whatever. I am not doing any of those things. So how in the world could you say that I'm chasing him? How in the world can you say that? So here's the thing. Because, and I wrote about this in my book, Twin Flame Romance, The Journey to Unconditional Love. I really write about the tricky part of not chasing your twin. It's really super duper tricky, you guys. It's very tricky. And here's why. It's tricky because if this is a true twin flame union, if it's really, truly your twin flame soul, you guys are always connected in the 5D. You guys are always soul connected. You're very much soul connected and you know this and your twin knows this. Even if they don't know it on a conscious level, they know it on a very subconscious level. It's like it's it to them it probably just feels weird it kind of feels like your presence is always there they might even say like you're always watching me or i feel like you're always watching me or they might just say like um i kind of feel like you're always on my mind or you come into my dreams and i don't quite understand it so on some level they get that you guys are soul connected even if they're not fully awakened to the idea that you in fact are soul connected so you can't really assess it by saying, well, my twin is completely unawakened. They have no idea what I'm talking about. When I talk to them about soul connections or soulmates or twin flames, they look at me with glazed over eyes. Like they have absolutely no idea what I'm talking about. And in fact, that was part of my story as well, that my twin just thought I was completely crazy. So the tricky part about going with the flow, stop trying to control, and not chasing is that your twin flame can feel you in the spiritual world, in the 5D, if you're chasing in other ways, if that makes sense. So for example, if you are really upset or angry that they're in a relationship with another person, then that in essence is chasing them because you're trying to control the way they're acting. If you are upset because they're not calling you or texting you or coming over to see you and you are fostering this sense of anger and frustration and upsetness and just like discontent, then you are chasing them because you are again trying to control how they act, react and how they come forward toward you. So in, like I said, all of this is happening on a very subconscious level that you might not even know that you're doing it but they can feel the pressure from you in the sense of, they feel the judgment from you. They feel that, why is this person constantly in my space trying to control what I'm doing? Don't they know I'm my own person that I can do what I want to do? And so it's this constant battle of this back and forth of, 
you trying to be really loving to them and, and show them and express to them your love. And it could be just through your meditations, your prayers, your healings or whatever. And then on the flip side, you getting really frustrated and angry because you feel like you need to control what they're doing, if that makes sense. <laughs> so, and I really, really saw this a lot during the Twin Flames Q&A this week. It was just a lot of comments and concerns about what do I do if my twin flame is still married? What do I do if they ran off with somebody else? What do I do if they're still 3,000 miles away? What, you know, so there was always this like constant battle within themselves of the fact that they thought that they needed to do something to bring their twin back to them or to to make their twin see that this is a divine connection and they need to be together. And as hard as it is, and I know it's super duper hard, but as hard as it is, you need to be in that head space, that mind space, that heart space of everything is happening according to divine plan in the universe. And if there are still lessons that I need to learn, and if there are still lessons that my twin needs to learn, and that there is a reason, without a doubt, that we're still not together in 3D reunion, because we always say reunion and not union, because hello, you guys are already in union, always. Your souls are in union, you're they're in constant union. But you know what's really interesting about the constant union, and I've said this in other videos, so if you've watched all of my videos, you may have caught what I have said. I, I really like this idea, and this is actually what was given to me as, as information, the channeled information, and I don't know a whole lot about quantum physics. Like, I don't know a lot about, I, I know some because I used to follow Deepak Chopra. I used to work with him. I read a lot of his books. But if you really study quantum physics, it's like this, it's almost ethereal, if you will. And so what's really interesting about twin flame souls is that whatever is happening in your life and in your twin's life is being recorded real time in the soul imprint. So... The soul imprint is the same, right? So it's it's like your soul imprint is the same as your twin soul imprint, but the experiences and impressions from your life and from your twin's life are being recorded in that soul imprint real time. And it's always been this since the beginning of time. Since your soul split, it's always been the case. Your everything that you both have experienced in the physical plane has constantly been recorded into the imprint of the soul. And so what's really cool is that even if your twin doesn't know what you're doing or how you're acting or what you're doing or what experiences you're having, the imprints of everything that you're doing, thinking, feeling, being, that imprint is happening in their soul too because it's the same soul, right? And inversely, everything that they're experiencing, doing, thinking, being is also imprinted in your soul because it's the same soul. So it's super duper fascinating. It's really interesting. And it's just, it's just constantly being recorded real time. So if you are ever under the impression that, oh my God, we're in separation, complete separation. Well, you know, we're not in union. You guys are constantly in union because of your souls being connected and that Everything that your twin's doing is recorded in your soul. Everything you're doing is recorded in your twin's soul. And it's just, that's just the way it is. And that's why they can sometimes recall something that happened to you without ever having been there. Because it's, it's recorded real time. It's the imprint in their soul. They know things about you. You know things about them. That's the reason. So the stop the chasing part of this going with the flow is that you just need to start enjoying the present moment, enjoying the day. Give them blessings, send them blessings, say prayers for them, do healing sessions for them if you want to. Keep it non-obsessive, meaning like you're not waiting for some, some specific outcome of doing these healings or meditations. You do it because you love them. You do it because you want them to heal and you want yourself to heal. So it's not because you have them on a timeline. <laughs> and I'm just laughing because of the recognition of that phrase for myself. But you're not doing it because that you have a specific timeline. You're just doing it out of the kindness of your own heart. So the stopping the chasing is more about you living in the present moment, staying rooted in the present, not 
future casting all the time and enjoying it because when you are not going with the flow of life, when you're not moving with the natural flow of the universe and accepting what's coming your way, you're not living. Honestly, you're not living. Because if you're not living in the present moment, you're either living in the past in some memory or you're living in the future in some potential memory. So you're not living in the here and now and you're not enjoying the here and now. And there's so many beautiful aspects to the here and now that it's it's time. Like it's time that you enjoyed that. And again, for those of you out there that are still trying to blame your twin for not choosing you, get out of that blame. It's not fair to them. It's honestly not fair to them to objectify them. And I said this in the Q&A, and I will say this in another video, but in essence, when you're trying to control what they're doing, you're objectifying them. You're treating them as an object and they are a free soul, like a free will soul. They have a life. God gave them a life. You didn't give them life. God did. So try to stay away from that objectification of your twin and keep the peace, keep the love, keep the love flowing toward them. But like live in the present moment where you are now. Enjoy, enjoy where you are now. You know, I'll, I'll finish this video with this greatest perspective that I got from Tony Robbins. So I, I've listened to a lot of Tony Robbins. And if you have not yet listened to him, honestly, pull him up on YouTube. He is like the most inspirational person I honestly have ever listened to. And I've followed a lot of motivational speakers in my past. And Tony Robbins, honestly, for me, is one of the most like sincere people I have ever had the chance to meet. And I went to one of his events in 2017. It was just like, what a great person. Like he walks his talk. Everything that he does, like he completely 100% walks his talk. And what he said was that time, the time that we have left here on earth, time is like our greatest currency. And most people do not realize that. They don't realize that your greatest currency here on earth is time. We do not have an unlimited amount of time. We might have unlimited amount of resources, unlimited amount of potential, but we don't have a limited amount of time. So what you do with your time is essential to your well-being. So Really, like, look at that. Look at time as being even more precious than currency. And if you're wasting away your time with worry, with anxiety, with future casting, with living in the past, with not staying in the present moment, then you're wasting the most precious currency that you actually have. So I just wanted to leave you with that thought today. Thank you so much for joining me. Thank you for subscribing to my channel below. Hit the bell for notifications. Thank you for sharing this video with other twin flames. And thank you for buying a book or two or three. Book a reading with me. And also go to my Amazon store. And the links are all below. And I will see you in the next video.